this is what a day in my life is as a local basketball player. This is your time. This is my time. This is our time. Uh, life for us is great. Um, there's never a dull moment. You know, being around him, uh, you know, he's the most energized guy you'll ever meet. Uh, one of the funniest guys you ever meet. Uh, you know, he's just a great teammate to be around. I'm known for more so the jokes on the team. If there's anything, if there's a joke that needs to be made or a laugh, I'm the one that could probably supply that. Well, my nickname, as we all know, is Russ Dickens. Coach P gave me the nickname, and he's the creator. <laughs> You know, I remember when he came in here this freshman year and, you know, he's just walking around everywhere, getting lost. And, uh, you know, he's just a great person. He's grown up so much, you know, being here with him, being his teammate for the last three years. You just see a, a major improvement just in everything he does. Start my day off about 7.30 a.m., 7 a.m. maybe, and end around 8 p.m. Well, this morning, normally every other morning I'll get up early, probably get some shots up and get a lift in. For me, morning workouts consists of lifting, probably some benching, some calisthenics. Then I might hit the bird max, then I might get on the court, do some dribbling drills, get some shots up. In practice, toughest place in the guard, well, from, from the looks of it, it'll probably be going to shame. <laughs> yeah, they, them two just, they, they dominate in practice all the time. I would say the, the, the dude from Providence was pretty tough, because he, he was a screen to uh, Bryce Cotton. He was pretty good off, off the screens. Probably hit one on one with any player. Probably be Allen Iverson. I really want him. Like, I know how good he is, but I want to like see it personally. <laughs> as much as I don't believe in superstition, I ha I am a little superstitious about the number that I have when I get injured. I had 24, then I got hurt, so it's time to change the number. So. It was that, and because I watched Preston Mills like play so hard every day, and I was like, All right, if I wear that number, then I, I have to play hard, or Preston will be mad. So <laughs> I wear that. You know, scoring that many points in the in the rough, uh, you look at it as another game, but then you look at who was on the court with you, and it makes it brought it brought a sense, it brought something to me, it told me something. It was like I, if I could perform like this against those guys and against that level of competition then I think I could be a really good player. All I have to do is just put it together. And practice later on in the day, probably late afternoon, but in between all that, I gotta go to class and do some lunch. Waffles is my favorite food because I, I remember the first time I had one, the Belgian waffle, it was like so good. And every time I went to a place out, I didn't want pancakes anymore. I just wanted waffles. I just wanted waffles. And then I would go buy the um, the, the Eggo packs or whatever, the little packs of um, um, the little waffle packs in the supermarket. I've just been infatuated with waffles ever since. Coming up next, got study hall at 9:30, and then right after that, I got to shoot the class at 11. Uh, my name is Anthony Wright. I'm the director of academic services for men's basketball. So I work with Russ on a daily basis, uh, making sure that he's doing all his work, uh, making sure he's going to class, uh, making sure he's working hard, and he's really made a tremendous transition into becoming one of the best, most efficient students uh, on our team. As you all know, I'm a junior, and my major is communications. Uh, I want to do something in that field, whether it be broadcasting, sports analyst, or just anything communicating with people. And so right now, I just want to eat, get my energy back up for so all those off in practice. <laughs> you know, average practice, warm up, gotta stretch, and then early on we'll probably dummy up some plays, and then we'll go with each other to our position. So we'll put the guards with the guards and the wings, and the bigs get together on another side. We'll go through some individual instruction like that, and then we'll go over our plays, run them through hard, five and five, and then we'll go over the other team sets, then the, then the other team's defensive sets, and then we'll get into our press, full court pressure, and then after that, we'll run up and down, play against each other, put all of it together. For the most part, like today, was uh, pretty serious. The guys are serious. The last few days have been serious. Before practice, guys may clown around, but um, we have some time off before before a game, 
you know, maybe three days before a game, maybe we'll um, have some fun or whatever. This is a Russ Smith dribbling camp. <laughs> it's called Ridiculous. Now, uh, Russ might need his uh, wrist tape, too. We had a pretty harsh game at ping pong. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> but like everybody knows, my most famous excuse, I need my soft paddle. So act smooth, smooth. What paddle do I use in ping pong? Uh, and what happens? And what happens when there's no soft paddle? You got no soft paddle? <laughs> play a little different. <laughs> <laughs> if there was a movie made about my life, to to and I would need somebody to play me, it'll probably be Jack Sparrow or Johnny Depp. One of those two. Like that's or Dave Chappelle maybe. That'll probably that's probably the closest. Not even, matter of fact, not even Johnny Depp himself. Maybe the Johnny Depp as Jack Sparrow. That one, and uh, definitely Dave Chappelle. My Instagram account is I'm Based King, and it is that because if you know the definition of based, it's more so kind of answer to yourself kind of deal. You kind of do what you want to do. You don't really care what nobody thinks about you. You're just living life the way you want to live it. and. The most important thing is answering to yourself and feeling good about yourself and living and moving with the confidence that nobody else has. My favorite dance uh, move probably as of right now, man, I like watching people who know how to do the Dougie do it. Like, so that's probably, um, probably my favorite. But for me, it'll probably just be, uh, just be shoulders. <laughs> Being at the biggest championship it was awesome. The intensity, the people there, you know, my hometown, and you know, just wanting to perform well and getting the win mattered a lot. When the buzzer sounded at the end of the game, it was it was awesome because that was it. There's no more biggies and we were the last one standing and we were the last one standing the year before. So we just, it just felt so good to know that we were the last team to do it. The last team to do it literally like two times in a row. So uh, we, we were really ecstatic about the whole situation. What will you create to make the world awesome? Nothing if you keep sitting there.